Well, good afternoon and welcome to Hervey Bay where I took the bus for seven and a half hours from Brisbane and uh, got here about 4, 4 p.m. just in time for the orientation for the Fraser Island tour tomorrow. We just got done with that and they put us in groups of eight people, which uh, my group is kind of already leaving right now to go get food. But we're going to be in the same vehicle, so some of us are going to be driving periodically. And uh, yeah, we need to go get food for everything right now because there is no food facilities on the island and there's no freezers. We're just taking like coolers with all of our day's supply. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. I hope I have enough battery power to show you the entire trip. But we're gonna to head to the spa next door right now and uh, yeah, get our food for the next few days and then start making pre-made sandwiches and uh, probably grab some alcohol too because you can't buy any on the island. So the spa next door didn't quite work out because it's a little bit too expensive. So we sent uh, some of the girls who had a car to go grab the rest of the food and I'm gonna to head to another shop, grab a few snacks and stuff like that to put in my bag. Cause uh, you've gotta pack it down into one small like carry-on that you can keep with you on the seat to not take up all the room in the vehicle. And uh, another fun fact is there is, I believe five Germans, two Swedes and me, the only English speak or native English speaking American. And uh, that means I will probably have to have a little German and Swedish lesson this weekend. So our little group has returned from the grocery store and this behind me is what we're going to deal with. All that food needs to go into this cooler or into our bags by tomorrow morning. So we finally divided up all the stuff into bags by meal. So there's going to be stuff for barbecue, stuff for breakfast and lunch. Hopefully this system works. It's about 7.30 this morning and we're heading off in our convoy to the uh, pickup point for the ferry. So we've got most of our group in the vehicle. It is kind of tight up front here though. We've got three of us and I'm kind of straddling the uh, stick shift here, which is not the most comfortable, but we fit eight people in here. Alright, time to go four wheeling on some sand. Yeah, good work, thanks guys. Hold up. This is what they call Central Station. This was the central area of the timber cutting industry on Fraser Island. The timber that was cut here was very valuable. Most of the trees here or the bigger trees were worth uh, between seventy and eighty thousand dollars each. They wanted these jobs, uh, the timber cutting here, to last forever. They wanted their kids and their kids and their kids to uh, uh, to be able to cut timber here on Fraser. <laughs> now this is extremely important. We are in an isolated area of Australia, here, even though we're only twelve minutes to the mainland by by plane. We are isolated. Medical assistance here uh, could take anything up to three hours from paramedic. So we made it to our campsite, it looks like. This is where we'll be for the night. Uh, we are gonna be staying in these tents in here. Dark, but you can see them. So 
after having a quick lunch and a tour around the campsite that we're gonna be at for the next uh, three days, two nights, we're gonna head to Lake Wabi now. Hey, how you doing? How are we all? Good. All right. What's with the fairy thing? Oh, this is a fuzzy thing for wind. It's a oh, microphone. Really? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. yeah, okay, I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> no drinks today? No. No. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Or tonight, probably. One long breath out until I tell you to stop back here. probably only about a half an hour. We have finally come to the inland lake, uh, Lake Wabi. And uh, it's pretty beautiful around here. It's like a desert with the really fine grained sand and then all of a sudden it slopes down into the lake. <laughs> So we came back to camp after the Lake Wallaby, like, so we came back to the camp after the Lake Wabi adventure and it's about supper time so everybody's hungry and we're all going to start cooking and drinking and uh, listening to music. Going to have a good night tonight, wake up tomorrow and head down to the north end of the island here. Uh, quick fun fact, this is the biggest all sand island in the world. So one thing I thought would never happen this week on Fraser Island is uh, it's raining a little bit. It's been raining for uh, maybe a half an hour, 45 minutes. But it's not, it's just a little bit of a sprinkle. But uh, yeah, I never thought it would be this kind of weather out here. Thank you for watching day number one of my Fraser Island adventure. If you'd like to check out day number two and three, uh, you can check to the side here. And if you thought I deserve a like and subscribe, you can do that below as well. Thanks again and safe travels. <laughs>